if you can see that, but that says 5,000 subscribers and it is because this channel just made 5,000 subscribers. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. I'm so excited. Um, I just wanted to do this video just kind of like a celebration video, a Q&A video where you can get to know me a little bit. As you probably don't, I don't really talk a whole lot in my videos really, except for if I'm giving, you know, like teaching advice or singing advice or whatever. So I just thought it would be really cool to just, I have some questions that I found on the internet that I'll answer for you guys. I'm just gonna give you a little bit of my background. So I am a classically trained R&B singer from the Bay Area, Vallejo, California to be exact. I represent the V, but I was born up in the SCO, <laughs> San Francisco. And um, I have a degree in vocal performance and I own my own virtual vocal coaching studio. I've come from a long way. I started putting videos out like as soon as YouTube came out. A little bit after that, a little bit after graduating, I met a guy, found out that I was pregnant. <laughs> Had my son and I ended up going back to work. Five years after my son was born is when I started to pick back music up again. So that was when I started making YouTube videos like back in 2016 or something. I was more active and I built my channel up. I think I had 500 subscribers when I started in 2016 and so then I ended up building it up and then life started happening. I guess I should say before starting, before picking back up with YouTube, I got let go from my job. So I was there for over a year. I guess I shouldn't say let go. I was placed on a performance pro plan and that job was really not right for me and for a long for the longest time like I was really ashamed and embarrassed about that that you know I was on a performance plan and I wasn't able to come out of it but I really don't care about that anymore because of where I am right now right now I am a entrepreneur I'm a hundred percent self-employed and I have a six-figure business I mean have I made it no <laughs> Um, do I want to continue to grow? Do I want to continue to make more money? Yes, I definitely do. But I've come a long way from that girl who was fired from her job crying, trying to figure out what the hell she was going to do with herself for her son. When I got let go of that job, I had started working as an Uber driver. I started working for Amazon Flex. I started working for Lyft. I also be started teaching music in schools because I was like I, I need to go do something that I'm passionate about I need to get back into my music so I started teaching music at different elementary schools out this way and then I also became a vocal coach and I was teaching at a couple of different studios uh, and finally I started my own studio so about I think it was like five months after starting at the, the first vocal coaching studio I um, I started my own studio I'm really proud of that story <laughs> I'm really really proud of that story and that's where I'm at and so I have definitely struggled with you know trying to find the balance between being a mom being an entrepreneur self-employed person owning a business being a mother being a daughter to a mother who you know has a lot of health issues and recently became bedridden so she's in a nursing facility right now for rehab but when she wasn't there, I would go there a couple of days out of the week and for full weekends every other weekend. So it's just like, just trying to balance life, man. Like that's what I've been doing. Trying to nurture my gift, my craft, trying to become a good voice teacher so I can offer value to my students so that I can continue to have an income. And it's just been a lot. So, so, I, so I started to get back into YouTube and posting like last year and I've been trying to be more consistent this year. So that's why the fact that I have reached 5,000 subscribers right now is really, it makes me happy because it makes me feel like, okay, the work that you've been doing, you know, even though it's small steps, you've been making forward progress and you guys are all a part of that. So thank you so much for being a part of it. All right, now to get into the q and A, I I have some questions. Here we go. So have you ever met someone famous? Okay, there's two people that I, that I met. Well, I'm gonna say, okay, one person I actually physically met. So, okay, so the person that I'm talking about, I met her as Gabby Wilson, and you probably met her, or met her, you probably know her as her. And um, it's really crazy how we met. We're from the same area. This was like way back when YouTube first started and I was putting out YouTube videos, and I met her in a mall, and she came up to me and she was like, do you put out, do you do YouTube? Are you on YouTube? And and so like it was my first time ever being, rec my first and only time <laughs> ever being recognized 
from like putting out videos on YouTube. And um, so I was like really flattered. I didn't know at that time that she was a vocalist, but later on I was singing background vocals for a guy named Donnie Williams, who was an American Idol finalist. And part of his management team or something like that was affiliated with Gabby Wilson. And so he asked me if I would perform background vocals with her for a show at the Sacramento State Fair. And so, so I met her and I actually was able to perform on stage with her, but um, this is before she was her. So, but I mean, she was super crazy talented. She did a Michael Jackson set. She was playing the guitar back then. She was so cute. She was a lot younger, you guys. So she was really cute. I was a lot younger. <laughs> and she was a lot younger. I was a lot younger um, with her uh, ponytails. I'll, I'll show you like a little, like a video or something like that or, or a picture or something. But yeah, so she was really sweet and like, it's no surprise that she is where she is right now. You know, like, that's amazing. I'm pretty sure that she doesn't remember me. We, we had a couple of encounters, but you know, she was a, a lot younger, so. Okay, the next person that I met, okay, I can't actually technically say that I met him, but I spoke to him on the phone for 30 minutes. Okay, I can't say on the phone. I spoke to him on Discord <laughs> because like on the phone implies that I had his phone number or he had mine and that just didn't happen. So I was on his stage and I'm talking about Russ, the rapper. I spoke with him for 30 minutes. I feel like, you know, I met him <laughs> in my mind. I'm sure he's long forgotten about that conversation or maybe not, you know, he might be thinking about that person that he called entitled uh, on a <laughs> on a stage. But um, I really appreciated that conversation with him because he seemed genuinely interested in like helping me to navigate through something that I was going through. It's, it's not super deep, but it's just not something that I want to publicly, <laughs> publicly talk about. But he also, what I really appreciated was he was saying, you know, like, okay, how long have you been doing music? You know, and so I told him my whole story and he was like, okay, but you still haven't told me how long you've been doing music. And so it was basically like, I hadn't really been doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like it had been like on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. And so he was like, okay, he was like, you need to go to the studio. He was, no, he was like, you need to get your ass in the studio. And he was like, you need to make 50 songs and then you need to make a hundred more songs. And then you need to make a hundred more songs. And we were on the phone for 30 minutes. And I just appreciate the fact that, and I keep saying that, but like he is, a famous rapper you know like his he could have been talking to anybody at that time but he decided to talk to me and I love the fact that he really seems to want independent artists to win not just him like he wants other people to win too and I think that's awesome and I'm a Russ fan for life and I was like I was like okay Russ so when we do a feature blah 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 <laughs> I'm pretty sure he said something to the extent of that's never gonna happen <laughs> <laughs> or something like that's not possible but anything is possible for real um, okay so those are those people all right so if oh would you like to be famous so I used to want to be famous when I was younger a lot younger um, I would have interviews with Oprah Winfrey when I was cleaning the bathroom I would have an interview I would tell her how I came to where I was at you know what I'm saying what else I used to I used to draw my signature so I used to really want to be famous but now I'm to the point where you know I have a son and so I feel like my dreams my idea of like being successful is a little bit different um, I would love to be able to travel, to perform, to put out music that gets to the right headphones, to impact people, as many people as are meant to hear it. But um, I also like, I don't wanna have to worry about, you know, my, my privacy being violated or anything like that, you know, or my son or anything. So I don't wanna deal with like stalkers and shit. I've, I've definitely, I have dealt with that. My little old me, my little, old, yeah, I've dealt with that. Okay, let's see what else. If you could live anywhere, where would that be? If I could live anywhere, I would live either in Hawaii or San Diego, somewhere near a beach. Favorite holiday, beach, mountain, or city? Definitely beach. What is something unique about the place that you grew up? Okay, something unique about the place that I grew up is, I'm from the same place as Mag Dre, E-40, Gabby Wilson, and La Russell. We got some really talented people coming up out of the V. <laughs> Do you like scary movies? No, I do not like scary movies and I will never, ever, ever in my life watch a scary movie, not willingly, ever, 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 ever in my life. I watched the movie The Conjuring a couple of years ago and 
Like, that thing scared the shit out of me so, so bad. Like, I could, I, I was with somebody that night and sleeping next to him, that was not even enough to keep me safe. Like, that wasn't even enough to keep me from, like, being scared out of my mind. And so I was like, I'm never, I was scared for months. I was scared to turn off my light to go to sleep for months, okay? <laughs> so I'm never watching a scary movie. And I think it's really messed up that YouTube puts ads on people's, put scary movie ads on people's stuff. Have you ever cried at a film? Okay, so I don't know if you've ever seen the movie The Greatest Showman, but in the very beginning of that movie, from what I remember, there is the song A Million Dreams. And if you've ever listened, if you ever watched one of my videos to the end where I'm talking, then you'll hear me say, keep dreaming with your eyes wide open. And that's because like I am on this dream chase and I have been for a long time. Dream, like it's right there. It's right here. You can't see it, but it's over there and it's over there. I'm all about following your dreams when that movie came on the song it just touched me so much and i was on a plane i was on my way to london and this guy who was like a couple of seats over he was looking at me like well we just started and she's already crying <laughs> i'm like i say that keep dreaming with your eyes wide open and what i mean by that is i'm dreaming with my eyes wide open i'm not asleep like i'm dreaming and i'm like making this stuff happen i'm doing it in real life i'm chasing my dreams in my real life and that's what i mean by like keep dreaming with your eyes wide open do you believe in love at first sight no maybe when it comes to like dogs or something like that but not humans would you consider yourself a romantic i think like somewhere deep 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 in there maybe are you good at any skill yes i'm good at making a mess of my apartments eight hours after i've cleaned it and having to re <laughs> clean it up again i'm good at youtube university i'm a go-getter I'm good at making stuff happen. I'm good at making my son laugh. What food do you love the most? I love Mexican food, pizza, whole food. I love Ethiopian food. I love Thai food and I love seafood and I love Chinese food. I love all the food that like I really shouldn't eat. <laughs> what sport do you like the most? So my son has recently became a baller on the basketball court. I mean, he's pretty much like great at anything he ever tries to do. He's freaking awesome. And so I've become a huge basketball fan of any team that my son is on. <laughs> Favorite alcoholic drink. So I really don't drink anymore, but what I used to love to drink was a margarita. Mm -hmm. A strawberry one with a uh, salt around the rim. Favorite non-alcoholic drink. So I pretty much only really will drink water, but when I'm being bad, I would say that my favorite drink is like from Starbucks, a caramel frappuccino. Favorite band. Bye 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 bye. So me and NSYNC go way 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 back since like 1998, and I knew like all the dance moves when I went to their con went to a couple of their concerts, knew the dance moves and everything. And Justin Timberlake was my favorite, um, well I guess member of the band. Are you an extrovert or introvert? I am an introvert in life, and on the stage I'm an extrovert. What's your best achievement? Okay, I can't really call my son an achievement but the biggest blessing that i have in my life i would say is my son like he's freaking awesome he's dope he's he, I, i'm so glad that i get to be his mom aside from that i would say my best my biggest achievement best achievement has been being able to launch my own business and become self-employed my best achievement is yet to come like my best achievement is going to be getting a million streams on spotify and getting like you know hundreds of thousands of listeners, millions of listeners. That's gonna be my best achievement. What is your go-to song for singing in the shower? So I really don't do a lot of singing in the shower. I do a lot of like rapping. <laughs> so it is, um, these days it is Are You Entertained by Russ and Ed Sheeran. I either listen to that or I listen to La Russell. I feel like both Russ and La Russell like because of the fact that they're independent artists and I just recently found out that Real Russell is signed by Russ and so it makes total sense why I like listening to their music because they talk about like coming up and how they came up and how they how they there wasn't a way so they made a way and I like that I love that it just like inspires me okay you guys I just want to say that if you're still watching this video shout out to you thank you so much for sticking with me and let me know in the comments what is your dream 
I, you know, I'm on a dream chase, but what is your dream? What are you chasing? That's what I want to know in the comments if you made it this far. I plan on putting out a lot of amazing content this year. I plan on putting out lots of songs. I plan to do what Russ told me to do and put out, make 50 songs and then make 100 more and 100 more. I don't know if I'm going to do them all in one year, but I'm going to try to get as many done as I possibly can. And singing tips and just documenting the journey and trying to be a source of inspiration for anybody out there who might be on the same type of chase as me or any chase but especially if you're on a chase like me like you should be a part of the dream squad and there is a place for you to sign up if you want to be a part of the squad and i'll send you a free song anyway thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys on the next video if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and click that subscribe button you might as well you made it here just click that subscribe button stop playing around click the notification bell so you can be notified every time i put out a new video and i'll see you on the next one until then keep dreaming with your eyes wide open bye i'm going in circles you spin me around you got me going in circles